Welcome to the first edition of Pound Define. I'm your host, Whitey Cracker, reversing the raps. Uh, this is intended to be a series where I'm going to break down uh, the meaning behind some of my lyrics and some of the choices that I made in the production and writing of the song so you can get a better idea of uh, how my brain is working during the creative process, which gears are turning, why they're turning that way stuff. Hopefully it'll give you a little more insight into just my process in general. <clears throat> I'm uh, currently on the roof of one of the crypto villas in beautiful San Juan, Puerto Rico. figure it's a great backdrop for this uh, inaugural video. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, first song I'll be doing is Take a Knee. Take a knee. The story behind it is it's a football terminology. Uh, I played football for a little bit of time in uh, middle school and in high school. But normally, at the after a drill or something, the coach will tell you, like, okay, everybody take a knee, and then he starts talking about stuff. So uh, I appropriated that basically to mean bow out of an activity, to uh, have to quit doing something. So I'm going to take a knee from that. It means I'm not going to do it. Uh, eventually, that definition itself blew into uh, I'm too high right now. I need to take a knee from this. But then it also means to get high uh, is also taking a knee. So it's one of those things like the word literally where it means not what its original intention was. It's been bastardized and changed a bunch. Uh, also, I refer to taking knees as a nap. Sometimes when I want a nap, I just say I'm going to go take a knee. So I'll take a micro knee. That's like a little mini nap, uh, if you will. Power nap uh, also means that. But uh, the song itself, is that's the genesis of it. It's where, uh, where the music came from. There was a period in my life where I was trying to commit suicide by weed. Because I wanted to be the first one to die of overdosing on weed, where uh, I would have angry mothers and all kinds of protesters with my face on it, uh, saying like, "Weed is bad. This is an overdose. Uh, you know, and you'd be the poster child for the one who overdosed on weed, since it has never happened before." So I figured that would be a funny legacy to, to leave, if possible. Uh, so Haretsu and I, we used to eat a lot of weed, as much as we could possibly stuff ourselves with, uh, in brownies, uh, Rice Krispies, whatever. And then we had the uh, bong that we would do uh, hash hits off of, and we rolled a lot of backwoods. So after we'd stuffed our face full of edibles, then we would proceed to inhale the blunt, hold it in, take a hit off of the dab rig, hold that in, and then take two more draws of the backwoods and hold it all in and then blow it out that was the double decker basically stoner ingenuity you try to find these things it's like a drinking game almost it's a, a pepsi challenge if you will of, uh, of uh, doing marijuana so let's get into the lyrics uh, the line check my post office box i got a shipment hypothetically uh, me and the homies we used to mail each other uh, organic matter weed through the mail. Uh, you could hide it in lotion bottles, uh, in a baggie, wax, put it in there too. There's a lot of creative ways that you can send your friends uh, organic matter through the mail. Uh, they, I think as long as you're not sending bombs, uh, that hurts people. You know, there's usually a lot of ways to hilariously smuggle weed. Luckily, there's a big huge push for legalization and it's kind of happening everywhere which is nice so to our benefit we don't have to do that anymore <laughs> um regarding the line got that bubba kush bubba gum shrimpin but this ain't a shrimp boat i'm not a captain uh, as i've mentioned many times in my songs uh, i prefer to be a commander not a captain uh, if you notice throughout history Cisco, Commander Cisco, took command of Deep Space Nine when he was a commander, which was awesome. Uh, he eventually got elevated to captain. Uh, commander Riker got to do a lot of the cool stuff. And he held it down. The captain goes down with the ship, but the commander, 
usually gets to uh, sample the beautiful alien ladies and lead the away missions every once in a while. But generally, the commander is obviously he's the first officer. He has to do what the captain says. He's got some latitude on what he does. He's still in charge. He's still a boss, but doesn't have all that heavy is the head that wears the crown that the captain does. So I will always be a commander, uh, kind of like never a bride, always a bridesmaid type thing. I just prefer to be a commander. So I reiterate that in a lot of my songs. Can't nobody distract my energy is a double negative. Uh, and it's just poor grammar. I was just trying to make it fit and rhyme properly. Volcano on the deck, yes, I use it as a centerpiece. Find my center when I'm vaping weed. You've mistaken me for someone who ain't taken knees. <laughs> as you can see there, lyrically, I've taken center and I've kind of anchored it for the next line. So, volcano on the deck, yes, I use it as a centerpiece. Find my center when I'm vaping weed. You've mistaken me for someone who ain't taken knees. So it's these nested kind of anchors. I do that a lot in my music. Uh, I think it sounds kind of cool uh, when it's spoken right. I can science myself into the history books. Uh, I refer to science as drugs, uh, doing drugs. Getting scientific is when you're doing drugs. Uh, science and history both being subjects in school, learning, uh, one of my favorite sayings is, don't let science make you history. And that's basically just telling you not to overdose. Don't let the drugs do you, in a sense. Organic matter in my songs always refers to, uh, to weed. Uh, space vitamins are uh, things like Adderall and uh, your Percocets and hydrocodones and Roxies and stuff. Because uh, they're vitamins that take you to space in a little pill form. I can't divulge all the secrets of the Yaya, but I can tell the public all the secrets about my God. The Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood was a movie, and it's obviously it's the secrets of the sisterhood. I don't have those secrets, but I do know the internal workings of the Spam God and how he thinks. I would like to think so. He speaks through me, so that's where that's what I'm going to tell you. Tilt a whirl. Tilt my world like a lack of V8, and as long as I'm sideways, I'm straight. V8 used to run these commercials, they're tomato juice. Uh, but the commercials, the people that were walking down the street, they would be kind of tilted until they had their V8 in the morning, and, or the afternoon, or whatever it was, and then they would straighten out. Uh, but when you're getting sideways, uh, that something and Paul Wall had this song like sitting sideways always in the days uh, which means that you're scientific at the moment obviously the hook when you're feeling scientific to the nth degree take a knee space man. take a knee uh, scientific again is being uh, being inebriated slightly on some sort of intoxicant when your body is performing mass amounts of chemistry the metabolism that your body is going through while it's processing said science and so uh, obviously sometimes you need to take any from that uh, when you're calculating volume with exponents of three uh, the way that you calculate volume in anything is by cubing it another term for uh, smoking weed is uh, smoking loud and so I was being creative by using volume uh, in uh, two senses there, where volume being the what is in something, the, the measure of how big something is on the inside, uh, how much of an object it really is, and then also uh, loud being marijuana. The beginning of the second verse starts out, sometimes you just need to get your lamp on, pause, and catch a period like a maxi pad. The reason that line, I think, is clever is because the word that you would expect to hear is tampon, uh, because it rhymes with lamp on. But I switched it up, and I said maxi pad, and so that also catches period, and the pause, 
is like how you would stop a sentence. A comma, I guess, would be a more accurate pause, but uh, it wasn't good for my my simile there. So I look out for my men. I try to teach them all the ways through the ink of a pen. Scientific, like the power of ten. And just another note in the appendix again. Uh, scientific notation is a numbering scheme where you represent a number uh, with a decimal and times 10 to the power of something. So 10 to the power of 1 would be times 10. So 6.6 times 10 to the power of 1 would be the scientific notation for 66. Uh, normally very large numbers or very small numbers, which you're dealing with on like cosmic scales or microscopic, uh, it's easier to write things in scientific notation. So you get a reference point of exactly how small or how big that, that thing is. To bring it back to the, just another note in the appendix again, like an appendix, I'll feel swell, then I must remove myself. Uh, the appendix being something that you would put at the end of a book. So using it in the same terminology, you say footnote, which is something at the bottom of the page. The appendix is normally an addendum on a literary work that has definitions or some sort of glossary, whatever. Uh, but then I'm referring to the appendix inside your body. And uh, if it swells up, there's a likelihood that you have appendicitis and you probably need to get it removed. So this is a, a clever way of me saying uh, when I'm feeling too high, uh, I must tap out and remove myself from the game. So like an appendix, I'll feel swell, then I must remove myself. So that's my breakdown of Take a Knee by Whitey Cracker. The video was shot very low budget, uh, multiple angles from one of my laptop cameras. Uh, my Volcano uh, was a co-star in the film. If there's any other songs that you'd like me to do this to, break down, I'm going to be doing them anyway. But if there's any that you have a special request, uh, you'd like me to fulfill that request, I'd be more than happy to make a video and tell you the behind the music on that. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. Patreon in the description. Uh, maybe my next video won't have as beautiful as backdrop, but uh, we'll try to stay good out there. STC is the greatest and praise this fan god.